Rishi Cash. I've heard a lot about this place in the past few years. It's one of the most popular spiritual places in India and for sure it's famous worldwide to be the capital of yoga. I really really enjoy Rishikesh. After one month of pure chaos in Delhi, Agra, Rajasthan, Varanasi, I finally found a place that allowed me to relax, deeply connect with nature and recharge. To be honest, after one month of traveling with my motorbike, I'm a little bit exhausted. And Rishikesh is just the perfect place to recharge. The air quality is great and most importantly, the weather. Being very near the Himalayas, it's very fresh and very pleasant. I stay in Rishikesh for five days and to be honest, I could have easily stayed longer. So in this video, I will bring you with me during these days and I will show you around. We are going to witness a very special RT in the evening. We're going to meet people, shopping around, eat food and explore this beautiful city in India. So sit back, relax and enjoy this video. guys it's uh, 6 20 in the morning in Rishikesh it's a bit windy and I want to witness a sunset by the Ganga River and just uh, contemplate life and relax by this holy river in Rishikesh <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. I'm gonna drink a chai with the monkey in the morning. Cheers. What a special morning in Rishikesh. Very powerful place. So this is my room here in uh, Rishikesh. Very simple. I'm paying 1,500 rupees per night. And I really enjoy being here because I have a lot of conversation with Shiva, which is always sitting outside his room is there so every day we have a great chat here it is shiva <laughs> i'm here with my friend shiva he's the owner of this uh, guest house which is called uh, hotel uh, lakshman grand hotel lakshman grand in lakshman jula very good location like perfect near, it is near the ganga near the ganga yeah so we have a program for the yoga and some other things and uh, we are giving that just like a trip for Uttarakhand. So Shiva not only is the manager of this uh, guest house, but he's also a yoga teacher, palm reading. About the Ayurvedic therapies. Ayurvedic therapy. And then he can organize some nice package around Uttarakhand and then he can bring you to some hidden good places. Good yeah. good places. I'll put his contact down below if you want to contact. If you come to Rishikesh and you want to organize something, then get in touch with Shiva. Thank you, bro. Man, 
man, I'm really enjoying Rishikesh. There is such a great vibe and atmosphere. It's really, really nice. And the temperature, it's perfect, man. In the morning and in the evening, it's quite cold. But then during the day, it's like perfect temperature. It's like a springtime and the sun is shining. It's, it's beautiful. Diamond Manufacturing Company, Sri Ram Krishna Export, SRK. Ah, it's a company. He is yeah. the owner of the company. Ah. Uh, with, with Jadu, with Jadu. The, with the white, uh, white oh. shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So today is a company party. Ah, party, party. All right. Oh, cleaning, cleaning movement. Oh, cleaning. Ah. So that one is a company called SRK and they polish diamond. That's what they do. Now more than 1,000 people are here, but in total the company has 7,000 employees. Something about cleaning, so they're all with brushes. I don't know exactly what they're doing, but they're all from uh, one company. I just ordered an onion cheese doza. Thank you. Cheese onion dosa. Cheese onion dosa. You have a spicy chutney. Okay. You have coconut chutney. You have chili and Ah, this spicy? No, you have spicy. Ah, this spicy, okay. Spicy or spicy? Oh, no, 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 I don't like spicy. Little, little, little. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Man, this cheese dosa onion is amazing. It is so good. Okay. This is 150. And if I buy two? Good present. Man, these shorts they cost only 150 rupees. That's insane. I bought two. Grey and uh, white. And the Adi Yogi t-shirt, 300 rupees. I really love Adi Yogi. Now I'm a proper Indian tourist. <laughs> Alright guys, it's 5.30 p.m. almost sunset time and I'm heading to Parmart Niketan Ashram which is the most popular place in Rishikesh for the RT during the sunset. But as you can see man, this bridge is super super crowded and very scary man. There are just too many people and while walking everything is shaking under my feet. So every day at sunset time, there is this wonderful celebration and worship that is called Arti, where so many people come and I heard it's a beautiful thing to experience and to witness. <laughs> So what is the Arti? Arti is basically a word derived from the Sanskrit word Aratrika, which means something that removes Ratri, which means darkness. So the original terms basically means that this ceremony will remove darkness from life. And it's a Hindu ritual and ceremony in which light, usually from a flame, is offered to one or more deities. And then there are songs, chanting. It's a very special moment of prayer, of worship, of celebration, such a special moment. This is my third day in Rishikesh now and I really dig it to be honest. The vibe and the atmosphere is very relaxed. A lot of people into yoga, in the mountains, perfect temperature. It's a great place to unwind, 
relax, recharge the battery after the crazy Rajasthan tour. I really dig it. Actually, let me know in the comments below if you have ever been to Rishikesh. For me, I wanted to come for many years and I'm really happy to be here and I will definitely come back again because it's really nice. Rishikesh actually is considered the Mecca of yoga and here there are like 400 yoga schools so you can literally do yoga everywhere here and many people come here to study to become like a yoga teacher so there is this TTC program which is the teacher training course which usually lasts like one month two months three months it depends on the quality of the course and you really dive deeper into yoga and you learn how to become a yoga teacher that's also why there are many foreigners here and here in Rishikesh also this rafting is very popular as a sport activity so many people do it there are so many excursion tours it looks pretty fun all right guys shiva is recommending me a hidden gem 20 kilometers north of rishikesh and i'm gonna go there okay I'll, So Shiva, the owner of my guest house, recommended me this place because it's a little bit outside of Rishikesh. I'm like 25 kilometers north of Rishikesh. It's a small, secret, hidden spiritual place. There is also a cave which has a lot of uh, spiritual history. Yeah, and he recommended me to come here and just uh, spend some time, to relax, contemplate life, meditate a little bit. So. I decided to come and here I am. We are still on the Ganga River which looks incredible and man the road here was so much fun. I really had a great time. Now I really understand why so many people in the comments told me like Gabi go to the Himalayas with a motorbike. Now I'm getting closer to the Himalayas. I don't think I would go there. We'll see. But now I can really understand because the roads they become really fun in the mountains. The temperature is great. The curves are fun. The twists. So now I get it. I really enjoy this area. So in the coming days, I might explore a little bit more north of Rishikesh because there is so much to see. Sorry. Sorry. Oh my God. This is amazing. There is sand here and the Ganga without construction, just raw nature and the Ganga River. What a place, man. It's like a beach, you know? Look at this. It's like a Ganga beach. Man, I'm in love with this area. It's so beautiful. The cave is so beautiful. It's not possible to film inside, so I cannot show you anything, but it's completely dark. And there were some people meditating inside. And before there was a monk living inside a sage. It's such a strong spiritual energy. It's amazing. It's really amazing. What we keep in our heart that come through our words, but words are not enough to explain it. So my feelings, he understood. I'm very happy. You have to be careful for everything. Whatever is coming to you, you have to recognize because everything and everybody and every part of the nature is filled with so many tricks. So you have to understand what is good for you. If there is something good for you, calling you, come and take it. If something not good for you, you have to 
recognize what it is good because if i am saying that rishikesh is always spiritual always divine and kindful and pure then this is good but always not because mm. the planet the timing the period of the time is changing so the a lot of people from different different places starting moving into the rishikesh now you will won't find the pure rishikesh as it was before mm. but i believe that if you believe on yourself yourself will guide you on to the right person this is the soul connection and That's whatever amazing. is happening it's being designed we are playing that we are not script we didn't write the script the script writer producer and director is on the top who is with every moment watching us and helping us with the nature so so much love from thank me you, brother. thank you very much for your kindness and divine sir your kindness thank you working and behaving good for others this is your good prayer to the god I always see this one around and I always wanted to try. It's a potato and they fry it. It's actually pretty good. And this was my last evening in Rishikesh, so I just walk around, enjoy the markets because in the evening there are so many markets in Rishikesh. And then the day after, I decided to check out a town nearby, which is called Haridwar. I didn't know about this town, but actually Shiva told me that it's a very popular and very special place. So I decided to go and check it out. just stumble upon this beautiful town which is called Haridwar. It's just 27 kilometers south of Rishikesh and I just discovered that it's a very famous uh, pilgrimage place, very religious place for uh, Hindu people and it, it kind of looks similar to Rishikesh as like the Ganga river in the middle and, uh, and some nice bridges around. So many people around, so many people just bathing because of the holy water of the Ganga. It's very fascinating and super busy. To be honest, the poverty and the amount of beggars here, it's uh, a little bit overwhelming. So many people on the street just begging for food and it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty extreme. Alright guys, now I'm going to end this video here. I have to be honest, I didn't plan to stop here in uh, Haridwar. And even though I stopped just for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, this place kind of shocked me. The amount of poverty and the amount of like really poor people, beggars. And I don't know, I just felt a lot of pain, a lot of misery. And it kind of shook me a little bit. It's, uh, it's hard to be here and hard to witness all of this. As I said, it's a very religious place. Many people come here to bath into the Ganga and, and to do the puja and a lot of ceremonies. They also have Ari in the evening, but uh, yeah, just a quick stop really touched me to be honest. And that's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy Rishikesh through my eyes and through my emotions. And stay tuned because in the next video, I decided to go to the Himalayas for a couple of days. So I will bring you with me and we're gonna explore together some amazing places. So stay tuned for the next video. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.